Here's some very important tips when hiring your first studio employees. When they are there, they are essentially the face of your studio. So make sure they have a positive, friendly, and uplifting attitude towards everybody that comes here. There's nothing worse than an uninterested site rep who, you know, just you get the vibe that they don't want to be there and they don't want to interact with you. I've rented a lot of other studios on Peer Space and had some really weird experiences with site reps that just aren't helpful whatsoever. On top of that, you don't want a site rep that hovers around and makes your customers feel uncomfortable either. Make sure they have their own dedicated space to hang out. Ideally, hire people you already know and trust, like friends, and make sure that they treat the studio like it's their own. Upon hiring, just like any job, conduct an orientation and training period where you can get them up to speed with your SOPs, how you like to clean your studio, where you like things placed, what to do in this scenario, what to do in that scenario, and just get them up to speed with the way that you like your studio being ran. Because at the end of the day, they only know what you teach them, so if something were to go wrong, it's not entirely on them. You have to do your part as a leader to make sure that they are well equipped for any situation that they may experience and you being the owner of your studio you've probably already seen it all now your studio reps will likely have a lot of time after they get the guest checked in and checked out the in-between during the booking they might not have anything to do they might just be sitting around so you can use that time to get them to help you with some of the back-end responsibilities this includes posting on social media uh, responding to inquiries on peer space sending emails networking and sending the DMs, creating Instagram reels and TikToks around the studio, cleaning the bathroom, making sure that's always well kept, and basically just, you know, making sure that everything during the booking is going smooth. So you can go as far as creating a detailed to-do list every day that you have a studio app working just to make sure that they're getting done whatever you need them to. Now this last one is something that I am working on the most, and that is when you hire anybody, whether it's a big position or a small position, whatever the case may be, you are stepping into a leadership position, and with that comes a certain set of responsibilities, and you need to take that seriously. Invest in your growth as a leader, invest in your growth as a person, treat your studio well with love, they'll see that and wanna model that, but you can't expect anybody to treat it you know, as good as you treat it. So if you're not treating it good, why would they feel like they have to as well? Host meetings, host outings, constantly check in with them, not just work-wise, but personally, and make sure that they feel taken care of. For full transparency, I pay my studio reps 15 to $20 per hour, 15 when they first get started, and then after a little while, I bump them up to 20. And if it were up to me, I pay them a million dollars an hour. So yeah, if you have any questions about anything, leave a comment, I try to get back to everybody. And if you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me, click the link in the description, the Studio Blueprint. Print.com. Peace.